What is going on guys, Joe Snow right here. In today's video we're discussing about the Pegasus exploit and the new jailbreak that's apparently created by a Pangu team. And look at this code. Yes, there have been a couple of rumors and some of you asked me if I can review that and make the things clear to you. Because apparently Pangu worked with QWERTY URIOP or look at this code, uh, in order to create something. But what it is, people cannot understand it and I totally agree with them because it looks like this and doesn't bring too much info. So what it is, no, it's not a new jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.4 because this is what some of you told me, this is what some of you thought it is, but it is not. It's iOS 9.3.2. Trim at maximum. I don't know why uh, Quarty Uriops or Pangu team did not uh, simply make it clear right here. They said for iOS 9.3.x, like iOS 9.3.5 would be compatible, but it's not. And um, the whole point of the application is that it is not a new jailbreak, although it is an improvement for the old existing Pangu jailbreak that existed back in uh, the summer. You probably remember this jailbreak, which was created for iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3. And this is the same that happens right now with the new uh, QWERTY URIAP plus Pangu thing, whatever. It, it was only compatible with 64-bit devices, and so this is right here. So what this does, you probably remember that in the case of this one, you downloaded an application called, um, it has different names uh, depending on whatever you wanted to do with it. But apparently it was an application that uh, had 21 uh, megabits, you had to install it, but the certificate method kept on expiring, uh, kept on uh, requiring you to re-download, to re-jailbreak, redo, whatever. Now this application created by Luca Tedesco and the Pangu team basically uses the same exploits, uses the same jailbreak back from back in the summer, but uses a new loader called the Pegasus. And this new loader is exactly like, uh, I don't know, jailbreak.me, if you remember, it created by Coolstar. Well, uh, how, you, how you use it then? You go to jailbreak.me or gbme.qwertyworryop.com, then uh, it has to be a 64-bit device. You have to be on iOS 9.3.3 at maximum on a 64-bit uh, device. So unfortunately, no 32-bit bit which confirms it's not a new jailbreak and you need to uh, go to the sharing right here do not simply click go in here and do not load it inside a web clip or a uh, web frame just in the mobile safari so you need to go uh, to simply press go and you will jailbreak uh, but the problem is if you click go right here it will say doing it doing what whatever, exploiting, but on a um, an iOS 10 device like this, nothing will happen. Uh, I'm going to show you, it's a, an iOS 10 device, you can see from the, um, the dock right here and from the uh, control center and from this thing. So on iOS uh, 10, it simply does nothing. On iOS 9.3.3 or iOS 9.2, for example, and other versions that are compatible with this um, with this exploit, you can simply go ahead, click go, and it will sideload the application for the Pangu right on your desktop. So what does this fix what it is? Actually, it is a loader that saves you from re-signing the certificate ever again. You still need to uh, re-jailbreak your device after every reboot, keep that in mind, it doesn't fix that problem, but it fixed the signing issue, which the signing issue was a problem ever since the tool was created. Now it no longer expires because it uses an exploit to pass that application through. So no, uh, to, be, uh, to be completely clear, it's not, despite what you think, it's not a new jailbreak, it is a jailbreak that existed, it's a new loader for the same jailbreak that existed, and it still works only for iOS 9.3.3 at maximum, or iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3, and only on 64-bit devices. So hoping I got these things clear, you can see um, it also says here, add a repo for J, uh, jailbreak me patch, a tweak that fixes this vulnerability. Uh, well. A little bit to know about it. If you do this, if you use this method, uh, you have to pay a lot of attention what click, what you click, what links you open, and what links you click after that on your uh, on your phone because it opens a vulnerability to the uh, to the device so that ma maliciously crafted files and things can work on your device uh, after that. It can exploit your device and install malicious crafted things. Not this jailbreak, but if you click on a uh, virus link after you use this exploit from here because it opens a hole, basically. So 
be extremely uh, careful what you do with it. So, yeah, uh, props for uh, for Pangu and Quarty Uriop for making this. Of course, it's not extremely useful by now, because by now most of you are probably running iOS 10.x and iOS 9.3.3 is most likely not being used. Uh, by many people, but for those of you that still use it, it's extremely important, it's very good, and it's a uh, simpler way to uh, to do this. So this is it guys, do not forget to stay updated by going to the channel, you can go ahead and also read about this, um, this thing here on uh, the uh, Reddit, on the Reddit page, so it actually explains everything that is, um, uh, that is working with this uh, jailbreak that what does what it uh, does not and so on so definitely read that reddit page i'm going to link it down below subscribe to stay updated on more jailbreak information and in-depth details about it and till the next time i'm joe snow peace out